uh, Dan Brown, Toy and Plastic Brick Museum, Blair, Ohio. You're currently standing in the master's room, which is an eclectic uh, collection of different things, prototype models, prototype drawings, um, one-of-a-kinds, uh, things that don't exist, and uh, things that do exist, but uh, no one will admit they exist. So this is the, one of my favorite rooms in the place. Yeah, and there's so many cool, interesting little models, like you said, maybe just like one-of-a-kind models and things. What are some of your favorites in here? Well, um, it, it's, it's tough to choose. I mean, <laughs> the, the, the Lego beer truck is pretty wild. Um, that was an impromptu uh, auction that Lego had at Le Legoland. Um, they were just uh, getting rid of some old models that were there, and they uh, had a little back room area, and they had, a, uh, I guess, a crisis uh, supposedly happened when Michael Jackson did what Michael Jackson did, and they sold off the Michael Jackson model, and they had a whole bunch of other models laying around, so they did an impromptu auction, and a couple people that were at Legoland at the time stopped in the auction and bought things. Well, one of the kids was the garbage truck, the beer truck. that He bought all those in one shot, and I bought them from him. Um, other ones are specific models, like the, uh, the great car right there that has all kinds of little... Um, hidden doors and other stuff um, that was a retirement gift for one of the Legoland employees or one of the Lego employees excuse me mm -hmm. um, and then um, if you look over there the Cheezosaurus Rex the orange guy on the shelf riding the surfboard he doesn't exist they never uh, it was a prototype model he was one of the fourth models um, they had the Tony the Tiger the Toucan Sam and Ernie the Elf and they were going to do a Cheezosaurus Rex as well but the cost was too much I guess they he took up too many orange bricks uh, yeah. So they didn't want to allocate that many orange because at that time they allocated bricks versus uh, using clear and injecting. So they had to allocate certain numbers for certain things. So Cheezosaurus never made it. So there he is. Um, I actually found him from the original builder and um, I got him to this day. Uh, another one that I wanted, um, I think it was the Brickfest auction years and years and years oh, okay. ago. That was the uh, Toucan Sam with the original signatures on it. <laughs> so that's one of my favorites. So, so that would have been quite a few years ago for a brick fest. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was, a, yeah, that was um, one of the, I think it was my first show I ever went to. So I went there and we, uh, they had, a, they had a, the uh, charity auction and I won that at the charity auction. Um, other things that are pretty cool that um, you know, most people would look at and say that's not that impressive, but there they are. Those are all prototype models for different uh, displays. Um, they were all sitting in uh, a master builder's um, room over at uh, Enfield, Connecticut. And I was able to get them from each different uh, master builder because they had different things and I was able to meet them. And I, of course, you know, being the collector that I am, I asked for different things. Um, I even got the original um, NC-1701 uh, uh, um, Star Trek uh, ship. So I was able to get that from one of his desks before before they had the uh, the poo attack. I guess they uh, they had a, a broken pipe that came in and uh, turned around and took out oh. the master builder's thing. So, But some of the models were saved because they were actually here. So I feel good about that. <laughs> And then over here, what is, I see you got the, the guy at the computer kind of going on here. What's the story behind that? Uh, that's Bill. Uh, Bill was my sponsor at Lego. Um, he was the, um, uh, I forget what his exact title was, but he was like the, uh, the Eastern coordinator for the Lego company. And before he retired, he became my sponsor at the company. Uh, when you do a project like mine, um, they uh, turn around and they assign you a person. Um, basically, he's your liaison that uh, has it helps you get things done. And um, he turned around and uh, I said I would make him immortal by putting him in the museum. So <laughs> there he is, and there's his cat. Okay. So. <laughs> So yeah, you got his whole setup there, even the Lego build desk and everything there. Yep, uh, that, that was kind of fun. We couldn't fit his knees underneath it, so um, that was actually a desk built by a college student that wanted to have a Lego desk in his uh, college dorm room. So when he came in here, the guy helped me. We actually lifted up and we were able to build underneath it to get it high enough to be able to put uh, Bill's knees underneath it. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so we, we've got just an eclectic, uh, you know, design build scenario and this was the room that kind of came in and went okay what do we do with all our prototype models like the man on the moon that's a prototype model the um drawings that we had from the band we found them when we got the band they were stuck in a drawer inside the band so everything you know, went well with that and we turned around and put it in this room so this is one of my favorites because it's just kind of a whatever type room it doesn't really have a theme except the lack of theme is the theme so. <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, you know speaking of other kind of unique things over here you've got i see in all these little pockets here you've got some old so there's a brick fest 2006 brick you've got a you know brick fair 2008 was that the event kit there yeah, yeah it was the event okay. kit um a, a different uh the cube cube guys uh the um brick cubes so we got them um a original um basketball players Lego sports. We got mm -hmm. uh, you know, one of each one of them. Um, these were the models that I got when I went into the back room over at Legoland California where I was over there picking up models. Uh, they had uh, damaged and uh, pulled items when kids get into things. They pull them. And I got a couple of park benches and uh, a minifigure. It's just, you know, different things that I enjoyed. And uh, as a collector, you know, it's kind of fun to get things that don't exist or one of the kinds that are just kind of bizarre and weird and wild.
-hmm. Yeah, and there's so much interesting stuff like that, and this is a, a great room to uh, bring that all together, you know, the unique things that don't really have a place anywhere else. Oh, I mean, from, from Brick Dudes to Galador, I mean, <laughs> everything's in this room. Uh, to original Lego slides. We've got uh, original Lego, Lego Land slides that were given out as uh, tourist attraction items. Oh, uh, okay, so you could kind of take, you know, something to take home then as a... Yeah. Yep. So, you know, we, we got, you know, you name it, we got it. And it was one of those things where if it didn't fit somewhere else, here it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's a cool eclectic collection there, like you said. So thank you for showing that to us. No, thank you very much.